as to guide us, to give us the spirit of tolerance, patience, openness, willingness to listen one to another. In our decision, open our minds and our hearts to see what's for the best interest of our union. It's our pleasure to uh, officially welcome to this 25th Quadrennial Convention of the Croatian Fraternal Union, Mr. Mio Maric, who serves as director of the Croatian Homeland Foundation, better known as Hrvatska Matica Iselinika. And Mr. Maric will address the audience at this time. Thank you so much. The next speaker that I'd like to introduce is um, Zdravka Busic. She's a state secretary for political affairs in the Ministry of Foreign and European Affairs. Zdravka uh, comes to us today as really a person who's well familiar with uh, the United States as well. And uh, she was in the Cleveland area. She's a professor. She has a master's from uh, Cleveland Area University. And we certainly welcome her attendance here. She's a, a distinguished person in the Croatian ministry. And she's representing uh, her particular ministry as state secretary. And we sincerely welcome her. We appreciate that she took time out of her schedule to be here while in the United States. She was here on other duties as well. But we certainly welcome her at this time and look forward to her remarks. So please come forward. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. I, I love this type of greetings. It's so wonderful. Thank you very, very much. I really, I, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I would rather, I, of course, I have my speech at home, at the Ministry, which of course on behalf of the Ministry of Foreign and European Affairs, I warmly greet you. My, Mr. President, uh, I feel like I know you forever. <laughs> when we met, I said, well, I, I think you, you are so familiar face, of course, and I will tell you the secret. You know why? Because he's grand-grandfather's house is maybe only a short distance walk from where I was born. Can you believe that? <laughs> so that's one thing. Another thing, is look at it. I'm so grateful that I can tell you that I was present when, of course, you president for so long, how many, 36 years, Mr. Lukitic, when he came to President Tuchman's office during the war, because I was the head of President Tuchman's office, and I received him, and I, I'm very honored, and I was present when he received his honors, and his achievement for everything that he had done and achieved, when he received the awards. And I was very, very happy to be present at the time. And another thing, I mean, I could go on and on, but I know my time is limited. But yesterday, after the, we had mass together, we, Mr. President took us to, to your home office. I am really overtaken. I, I really want what to say. I am overwhelmed. But the, Heritage that you see, what I mean, the, the the home office that you built, and I could stay there for three, four, five weeks, not only days, until I, I really would love to hear everything about you. Of course, you were very kind and said said so many things about your organization. Of course, since I lived here. Many times I used to come because a friend of mine was working at the Pennsylvania University um, and I used to visit them and I used to come to the Carnegie Library and I wanted to uh, read so much about the Croats. I mean, of course, I always looked at the car, car catalog and I was, I was looking for the Croatians to read about. So uh, I, I have known and I learned a lot before, before I came back, I, I went back to Croatia. but. Just to tell you how how familiar I feel like you are all familiar faces somehow when you read out the, the all the names 
Uh, I mean, it was uh, just incredible. And of course, I, I must mention my father, Maslach, whom I know from my high school years. Father Maslach, I really have to tell you, thank you so much for everything that you taught me. I hope I was not a failure. <laughs> so, my dear, my dear Father Maslach, thank you so, so very much. Um, um, Mr. Baric yesterday during uh, our dinner mentioned that Hrvatska Bratska Zajednica Street in Zagreb it's a really a very prominent one and particularly for me because I do my research for years and years in the university library and the university and of course it's, not a, it's a national library our temple of culture and temple of written word is located on Hrvatska Bratska Zajednica number four. And I'm there mostly all the time, so <laughs> I pronounce this name. He said, well, because people ask, where are you right now? Hrvatska Bratska Zajednica number four. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and of course, we are very proud of, the, of, the, of our university and national library, and we are going to celebrate well, just for you to know, you are celebrating 125 years and we will soon celebrate, well, in a few years, 425 years of existence of that particular library. So, uh, I would just, if I may, move uh, very shortly. Of course, I would uh, rather speak um, from my heart because uh, like, like my minister did last night, <laughs> so he said, well, you should continue because you are my deputy, you should continue the same way I did. But nevertheless, I would like to just to say a few words, if I, if I may, if I have five minutes. Um, so, dear Mr. President, dear Peso, dear, dear, I mean, you are so, I mean, you all, uh, uh, the way you handled the, the everything last night, it was oh, just thank you. wonderful. Thank you. Mrs. Lukatic, thank you so much. Distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends. First of all, let me warmly thank you for inviting me here to participate in the Croatian Fraternal Union's 25th Quadrennial Convention. I am really delighted to join you here in Pittsburgh to mark the 125th anniversary of the Croatian Fraternal Union, the oldest and the largest organization of Croatians in North America. It is really, and I said, for the third time, really an honor and a privilege, and a great privilege, like our Madam President said last night, to address you here on this very special occasion. Since its founding in 1894, the Croatian Fraternal Union, Hrvatska Bratska Zajednica, has grown with the Croatian community in the United States and in America, in Canada. It is now one of the leading fraternal benefit societies in North America with approximately 60,000 members. That's what I read while I was in Croatia. Um, uh, well, I, I will just, you know, tell you just a few uh, lines on the history. A period of mass migrations from Croatia to America began between, uh, towards the end of the 19th century. Estimates show that half a million Croats left Croatia, or the territory of Croatia, between 1890 and the beginning of World War I. Croatian immigrants were mostly attracted by Pennsylvania's coal mines, ironworks, railway, and road construction industries. The first groups of Croatian immigrants gathered right here around the mines of Pittsburgh and surrounding areas. And this is where the idea of the Croatian Fraternal Union was born. The establishment of the Croatian Fraternal Union represented a turning point for Croatian immigrants in America. In this organization, they found mutual help, cultural advancement, and joint action for the improvement of their living conditions. 
Those were the hard times, but the conditions of Croatian immigrants have drastically changed over time. Bound by enduring values of faith and family, Croatian Americans and Croatian Canadians are now flourishing in all areas of public and economic life in, uh, in their new homeland while preserving their proud Croatian traditions. Values and faith, values of faith and values of family kept them together and moved them forward. The kind of faith that we heard about yesterday in Archbishop's uh, sermon, Archbishop Chupic's sermon, and that really touched me because he is one of you. In its 125-year-old history, the Croatian Fraternal Union has always supported the Croatian people in their right to liberty, justice, and self-determination. In the early 1990s, Croatians in North America firmly supported the Republic of Croatia's establishment as an independent, democratic, and free market-oriented state. The, the Croatian Fraternal Union assisted Croatia morally, politically, and materially. Supporting the democratic changes in Croatia and upholding its people in their struggle for independence, the Croatian Fraternal Union asserted its values derived from the principles of American democracy and the right of, for self-determination. At the height of the Serb aggression on Croatia in, in September 1991, the 18th Cro uh, Croatian Fraternal Union Convention, Convention, which was held in Las Vegas, uh, Nevada, actually during that time the destruction which unleashed upon Croatia was condemned by you delegates in your speeches. And I really thank you very much for that. As well as, of course, I read the resolution that you adopted at, at, the very, at that very convention. The Croatian Humanitarian Aid Fund, established at that very convention, turned it into a permanent fundraising program and the foremost CFU activity in adding your home, old homeland. More than 400, 400 containers of humanitarian aid were shipped to Croatia. In February 1994, the SFU fully supported the establishment of the North Federation of American Croatians whose program was to promote and protect the interest of Croatians in the United States and around the world. In recent years, dynamic communities of Croatian immigrants and their descendants have significantly contributed to the excellent bilateral relations between Croatia and the United States and Canada, connecting them even more closely Croatia's strong political, economic, and security partnerships with our two allies in North America, of course, the United States and Canada, will continue to be based on extensive people-to-people -people ties and our shared values. I take this opportunity once again to thank you for everything that the Croatian Fraternal Union has done for Croatia, and of course the Croatian and North America. We really can look forward with optimism and I'm confident that many more Croatian Federation, Federation Union's anniversaries and achievements and of course even with closer ties with Croatia are still to come. May God all bless us. May God bless you and your families. And I love you. And she really.
Thank you, uh, Gospodjo Busic, who may be my cousin, I guess, I'm finding out. <laughs> now you wonder where uh, my long-windedness comes from, too. <laughs> but in all sincerity, when there's a lot of good things to be said, and they need to be said, and we appreciate the fact that you as well came to our convention today and addressed our audience and really uh, brought to mind some of the things of the past that the CFU has done and uh, certainly it characterizes our involvement over the years in support of the Republic of Croatia. So for that we thank you as well and please once again take our best wishes back to uh, Foreign Minister Radman who you mentioned as your uh, boss. Uh, we had his pleasure as well at the banquet yesterday and throughout the day and certainly we know we have a new friend in the foreign minister now and we appreciate the fact that he also took time out of his schedule to be with us representing the prime minister. So thank you very much. From Also from Croatia, uh, while not speaking, we also want to recognize and introduce um, Karatsiana Oreshkovic, who is from the Central State Office for Croatians Abroad. Welcome to the Karatsiana is uh, representing Gospodin uh, Svonko Milas, who is the uh, State Secretary for the, the Central State Office for Croatians Abroad. And we were able on uh, a number of occasions now on uh, our travel to Croatia with the festival, and I know Sister Sikaris was there on additional uh, mission, met with him, and we found uh, Mr. Milas to be uh, very uh, cordial and knowledgeable about the Croatian Fraternal Union and its role, and we look forward to our future interactions with uh, Zvonko Milas. And Karatsiana, please take our best wishes and gratitude back to uh, your uh, State Secretary for his uh, beautiful letter of uh, congratulations to Hrvatska Brodska Zajednica, which is in the program book. Prime Minister of the Republic of Croatia, this is much key road, Andrei Plenković. Poštovani glavni predsjednik Čapazo, neizmjerna mi je čast i zadovoljstvo što vas i šlanove Hrvatske Brodske Zajednice mogu pozdraviti i čestitati vam na velikom jubileju 125. godišnjice osnivanja najveće i najstarije organizacije na području Sjedinjene američke država. Davne 1894. godine skupina entuzijasta i srednika iz naše ljepe osjetila je potrebu osnovati fraternalističku organizaciju u dalekoj Americi koja je služila kao zaštita i utočište pridošljima po dolazku u novi svijet. Malo tko je tada mogao sanjati da će se od 300 članova, koliko je Hrvatska bratska zajednica brojila tada, broj članova danas popiti na više od 60 tisuća u svijetu. Kroz godine, osim obavljanja uspješne gospodarske djelatnosti kroz životno osiguranje, vi ste kao pripadnici iseljene Hrvatske prepoznali vrijednosti čuvanja spona sa zavičajem i te ste vezali, njegovali, održavali i očali mjere koje na sve ispunjavaju sponosa. Danas pred vašim ok, pod vašim okriljem na području Sjevernoameričkog kontinenta dijeli je preko 28 mladih i 30 odraslih tamburaških i polkornih skupina, što je odras vitalnosti Hrvatske bratske zajednice. Osim očuvanja folklorne tradicije, njegovo je se hrvatski jezik, što se najbolje ogleda kroz tiskanje novine zajedniča na hrvatskom i engleskom jeziku već dugi niz godina, a veliku pozornost pridajete i obrazovanju mladih kroz stipendije novim učenicima i studentima svake godine. Kroz svoju dugogodišnju bolje od kroz svoju dugogodišnju povijest sudjelovali ste u brojnim humanitarnim programima pomažući Hrvatsku kad je bilo najpotrebnije posebice tijekom domovinskog rata a vaš se rad nastavlja i danas, na čemu vam najiskrenije zahvaljujemo. Jednako tako, 
njegovali ste i držali povijest sa vlastima, institucijama Hrvatske države, te bili od neizmjene podrške i potpora u svim našim nastojanjima. Hrvatska izuzetno cijeni vašu pomoć od vašeg doprinosa i postanka naše neovisnosti obranili ste obranili i i o uljbom samostalnosti Republike Hrvatske do pomoći i poboljšanja razliku nas sa Amerikom koji su se pretvorili u prijateljske i samostalničke. Želim vam se zakonati svima na vašem radu da promičete ugled Hrvatske u svijetu, da jačete veze s našom domovinom Sjedinim američkim državom. Na vašoj i našoj radikoj proslavi Hrvatska vlada bit će zastupljena sa strane ministra vanjskih i evropskih poslova Gordana Grlić-Rajana. Na kraju, još jedan put, čestitam vam 125. godišnicu sa ženom za puno uspješnih kompetnica, na puno zajedničke nam domovine Hrvatske i svaki uspjeh naših iseljenika i hrvatski uspjeh, te doprinos hrvatskoj razvojnoj strategiji i modernoj Hrvatskoj. S poštovanjem, pravi ministar Andrija Plenković. Julia Bobanovich, 67. John Mixich, 91. Scott Curran, 84. Michael Lankarich, 74. Catherine Obenauer, 83. Robert Aaron, 81. Bob, Robert Lekedic, 102. Daniel Coaches, 122. Robert Novosel, 58. Andrew Sepich, 100. Perform the duties of the Office of in accordance with the bylaws of the Croatian Fraternal Union. In accordance with the bylaws of the Croatian Fraternal Union. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations.